Bonjour tout le monde. C'est clair que les dernières semaines ont été assez difficiles pour beaucoup de monde. Vous vous demandez comment vous allez pouvoir travailler de la maison ou comment vous allez payer les factures après avoir perdu votre job. Ça peut être difficile de garder le moral. C'est normal d'être frustré. Mais si vous traversez une période particulièrement sombre, demandez de l'aide. Il y a des gens qui peuvent vous aider. Et si vous pensez qu'un ami ou un membre de la famille a besoin d'aide, passez-lui un coup de téléphone. Dites-lui que vous êtes là pour l'écouter. On traverse une période difficile, mais on traverse ça ensemble. Et l'aide s'en vient. This evening, I'll be chairing a First Minister's meeting with the Premiers. We're going to talk about how to continue working together to keep people safe and supported. Over the last few weeks, in the face of an unprecedented challenge, we've seen all levels of government cooperating on a response. And going forward, that collaboration will become even more important. We will be there to support the provinces and territories with whatever they need. This includes sending personal protective equipment and other supports for the health care system. Last night, we received a shipment of over a million masks to a Hamilton warehouse. I know that people there have been working overnight to validate these supplies. This is in addition to the 10 million masks that have come in over the last days and are being distributed to the provinces and territories as quickly as possible. And this Team Canada effort goes beyond government. About two weeks ago, we launched Canada's plan to mobilize industry to fight COVID-19. Since then, we've spoken to almost 3,000 companies, helping us secure millions of pieces of vital equipment. And I want to share a quintessentially Canadian example of this collaboration. Our government has ordered hundreds of thousands of face shields from Bauer, the people who make hockey gear. They're creating shields to protect nurses and doctors against COVID-19. This is exactly the kind of innovative, collaborative thinking we need right now. And I know we're going to see more of it in the coming days. Ce soir, les premiers ministres et moi discuterons de la coordination de nos efforts et du partage des données. Il faut qu'on travaille ensemble pour identifier ce dont nos communautés ont besoin à travers le pays. Les provinces ont fait des progrès considérables en vue d'analyser plus rapidement les tests de dépistage. Ça veut dire que les experts ont maintenant des nouvelles données sur lesquelles ils doivent se pencher. In our conversation tonight, the premiers and I will also discuss our continued coordination and sharing of data and modeling. We need to work together to know what's needed, where and when, for communities right across the country. Provinces have been making significant progress on testing backlogs, which is giving experts important data to analyze. And we're constantly getting and validating more data. That means we can share more information with you. You can go to canada.ca slash coronavirus for the latest information about cases, growth and spread. But I know a lot of people are still wondering when this will get better or how much, how much worse it might become. You want to see the numbers and the predictions. You want to wake up in the morning and look online for the latest, more credible data you can find. You want to plan. You want to prepare for the worst. You want to know what to be hopeful about. I know. And we'll have more information, keeping coming to you with it soon. But the biggest variable in shaping these projections is you and your behavior. You must listen to the world-class doctors who are already sharing the best available information and advice. Ignoring them puts lives at risk. It's up to you to do the right thing. While many of you are staying home and limiting trips to the grocery store, too many still aren't. What the experts are telling us is that we must do everything we can today and tomorrow to set us on the right path for next week and next month. It takes time for the effects of our actions to be felt, so if we don't want our hospitals to be overwhelmed in the coming weeks, we need to make the right choices and we need to make them now. 
Our public health care system is strong, and our health care professionals are remarkable, but they're facing a threat. If every single one of us steps up right now, we can help them. If you listen to doctors, if you stay home, if you stay away from other people, we won't overwhelm our hospitals. We will protect our doctors and nurses. We will protect our friends and neighbours. It's going to take distancing and time to flatten the curve. But that's how we'll get through this. So let's save lives together by staying apart. We'll keep working around the clock to get you the help you need to do just that. Pour protéger votre emploi, votre entreprise ou votre salaire, on a lancé un plan économique à trois volets qui va vous aider jusqu'à ce que les choses aillent mieux. Grâce à la subvention salariale d'urgence, on aide votre employeur à vous garder. Avec les nouveaux prêts garantis pour les entreprises de toutes les tailles, on aide les propriétaires d'entreprises à obtenir du crédit pour traverser cette période difficile. Et avec la prestation canadienne d'urgence, on va vous aider jusqu'à ce que les choses se replacent si vous avez perdu votre emploi ou votre chèque de paie. I want you to know that we're giving this fight everything we've got. Just yesterday, we announced the biggest economic measures in our lifetime. Governments of all orders are organizing the most significant civic mobilization since World War II. Doctors and nurses, truckers and air cargo operators are scaling up operations to levels we've never seen before in our history. But here's the truth. None of that will be enough without your help. La notion de servir son pays change d'une génération à l'autre. Votre grand-père a peut-être servi son pays en allant à l'étranger pour une guerre. Votre mère, quant à elle, s'est peut-être battue pour plus d'égalité. Maintenant, c'est à votre tour. À votre tour de contribuer à l'effort. Vous pouvez ser servir votre pays en restant chez vous et en suivant les règles. Je sais que ça peut paraître simple, mais c'est la seule façon de traverser cette épreuve. Chacun doit faire sa part. Chacun doit sacrifier, sacrifier sa routine pour que la vie reprenne un jour son cours. Je sais qu'on peut et on va y arriver ensemble. Merci.